We must protect the past reserves. It's our precious resource, our strategic advantage. It's a great source of comfort and reassurance that if we run into a jam or find ourselves in a tight spot, which is bound to happen every so many years and not so many years, we will have one extra card to play. We will not be destitute. Other countries admire, even envy what we have, but they find it very hard to emulate what we have done. It was only in Singapore, only in those circumstances, only with that history and that generation and that phase of nation building that we could do it. If it's gone, we will not be able to do it again either. So therefore, as for ourselves, we too must make a conscious effort to keep our system working. Singaporeans need to have the right instincts. Save when we can, resist the pressure to touch it, use only when we really must. Each of us must see ourselves as stewards and trustees, taking care of the interests of present and future generations. That's the way to keep this discipline, to keep this rule, and to keep this system with two keys working well. Ultimately, in a democracy like Singapore, on big issues like this, it is the people who will decide. And the PAP is convinced that this is the right approach for Singapore. As long as the PAP government is in power, this is what we will do. If any other political party thinks that this is not the right approach, if they truly believe that we should dip into our reserves more, then bring it to the ballot box. Put it up front. Say you want to touch, you want to spend. You want to shift the rules. Don't pretend that we are just being, uh, you are being just as prudent, only more kind-hearted. Campaign in the next general election on this issue. Ask voters for a mandate to form the government, change the constitution, dismantle the second lock and key. Put this squarely to the people and let them decide. The PAP will join issue with them and convince Singaporeans that our way is the right way for Singapore. And I believe Singaporeans believe us. Because if I may come back to the IPS survey which we referred to and which you still have in your hands, it was not just a survey of the trust for input on reserves and therefore trust in the PAP government in general. If you look at the paragraph under page under para 3.3, it says, in the case of the PAP government, the statement was modified to refer to the level of trust in it to manage the reserves. In other words, Singaporeans have high confidence in the PAP government's management of the reserves. And therefore, we are confident that we will win the argument and we'll be able to get Singaporeans to do the right thing. Taking a long-term view of the reserves, striking the right balance between present and future needs, these are vital responsibilities of any Singapore government. I have spent 40 years of my life stewarding, safeguarding, improving this system, continuing the work of those who had come before me. Now I'm preparing to hand over to my successor, in good order, a Singapore which is more prosperous, more secure. I ask everyone to help them maintain the prudent policies that have served us well, to keep Singapore on the right track so that we can all continue to benefit from the nation's success for many years to come. <clears throat>